Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft. Um, <clears throat> today we are going to be working on something. We're going to be getting rid of, away from the creep tut project for a minute. Uh, a bat, where did that little guy come from? Um, <clears throat> getting away from this flaming zombie. Uh, so we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. More of a, an exploration uh, episode today, actually. Because uh, we want to... <clears throat> We want to get away from building for a bit, and so we had the caving episode last episode. Um, today, we I mentioned what we're going to be doing in the last episode, I think. Um, but what we're looking to accomplish is... Uh, getting away from lag. Um, what we're looking to accomplish is to get ourselves a little more protected um, so we can do more fun build projects like Creep Tut over there. Um, one of the biggest things that came out of that project for me was that... Zom er, not zombies, creepers are pure evil. Uh, creepers are pure evil, plain and simple. Uh, you've got to stop what you're doing to fight off the mobs, and then creepers especially, if you aren't quick enough, will just straight up destroy what you've been building. So they're very counterproductive to doing building projects. And um, I even had... So I've got the, the mob spawning pads running over there now. Uh, so I've, and they're running at a pretty decent rate, actually. We should check that out at the end of this episode, maybe. Um, they're running at a pretty decent rate. And so we've got a decent amount of creepers and stuff spawning. Um, the way the tube is set up... <coughs> sorry. Uh, the way the tube is set up, you know, the creepers, if you stand in a certain angle, can see you through the glass. And so I was... I had a bunch of creepers in there, and then I was punching them as opposed to using a... Uh, a potion because I was just because the creepers the, the healing potions don't work on creepers um, and so I was punching them and uh, that's all well and good until you get like directly in a corner there and then they can see you and it blew up and blew out the, <laughs> the wall of I think and I, I put it all together now but the, the moral of the story is creepers are evil we need something to combat creepers and uh, thankfully, the game has a built-in mechanic for doing so, which is very convenient. Um, so that's why we're out here at this jungle fishing, um, because what we want to do is there are wild ocelots in this jungle, um, and all right, well, we gotta eat. There are wild ocelots in this jungle, and if we can manage to catch some fish, we should be able to tame the wild ocelots, and they'll become house cats. And creepers are, for whatever reason, terrified of house cats. Um, and so we can pretty well just... Uh, there we go. Uh, we could pretty well just get a, a herd of house cats. We're going to hopefully catch two today, and we can breed whatever else we need. Um, and bait, place them all around the perimeter of what, what, whatever we're doing, and we should be relatively creeper-proof. Um, so that'll be awesome. Looking forward to that level of security because filling in, you know, creeper explosion pits all around the landscape and just uh, rebuilding stuff has gotten really annoying. So that's what we're doing today. Just a little bit of an exploration playing episode. Um, I've got a couple of building projects coming up, and so that's mainly what we're... Ooh, did you see all those squids spawn out there? That was fun. Uh... And so mainly, we're just trying to prepare um, for getting a couple of these other building projects done, uh, which are in turn going to prepare us for uh, taking on the dragon here soon. Um, so we will get a couple of more fish. I've never actually successfully tamed a cat, so this will be fun. <laughs> um, but let's, let's see, come on, can we get... I wish fishing wasn't so terrible. Um, I think it's getting better in 1.7. I, th I think that's being called the fishing update um, because Dinnerbone has done a lot of work on um, oh come on that should give me a fish uh, doing a lot of work on the fishing mechanics so hopefully we can uh, we can get something done a little bit quicker that way and actually they're adding new fish um, which will be which will be cool. Uh, that, that's one thing I've always said is uh you know, I think the overworld in Minecraft at this point is pretty well developed. Um, but the ocean biomes are just so empty. There's 
besides squid, there's nothing going on in there. Um, I'd love, I would personally love to see a, a hostile mob in the ocean, whether it's a, a shark or, you know, in the swamps you get an alligator or something like that. Um, I think that would be really cool because you don't have anything hostile in the ocean. You can swim around for days and, you know, nothing will happen, but, um, come on, come on. Am I getting experience for catching fish? That's kind of fun. All right, so six should be fine, I would think. Um, so let's... Uh, so yeah, I, I'm excited to see what the ocean update's going to bring. I haven't heard that there will be hostile mobs or anything, um, but I know they're fixing the fishing mechanics, which is which is good. I don't know. I don't think anyone really does a whole lot of fishing because it's just kind of a, a pain. Um, so let us kind of stalk around. We've got to find a cat. Um, or an ocelot, rather, which we're going to make a cat. Um, and they're very, very shy. So, oop, I think I, I think I see one over here. Yeah. So, you got to get in range of one without spooking it. Um, and then you kind of got to just stand still with a fish in your hand, and it'll come to you. Um, I've tried it before. I can't remember if I've ever actually been successful at taming a cat. Uh, oh, see, they're real skittish. So we gotta get close enough that it'll sense us, but we don't want to get so close that we spook it. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Lot. Come here, little ocelot. I've got a nice fish for you. Be very, very quiet. Oh, where did we lose it? Over here? Yeah. <clears throat> Close enough now. Kidding me? There we go. Let's glitch him out. Oh no! Come back! What happened? Oh, come on, that's cheap. What's happening? Why is he freaking out? No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come back. <laughs> oh, I think this is hard enough without him freaking out. All right. Um, hmm. We would have had that if he wasn't glitching out like crazy. There we go. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Six fish wasn't enough? Uh, I've got particles off or something. All right. Um, oh, it it is in love? Why is it... Why is it not... I don't want to breed you. Why, why are you not a cat now? I'm confused. Did it just die? Something weird's going on. I'm gonna relog and catch a bunch more fish, and we will try again in just a second. All right, guys, be right back. All right. Um, so went through a fishing pole, or almost two fishing poles here, but I caught a ton of fish. Uh, <laughs> and we are gonna try this again. I am not sure what was going on with that last one. Um, it was glitching through the ground, and like it had the hearts above its head. I, I don't know. I guess I guess I should have checked. Here, we'll try it out on this one. Should have checked 
cat taming procedure, I guess. Um, no, 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 you can't even rotate. I'm not moving on my feet. Come here, little kitty. Come on. No, okay, I'll come to you. Slowly. So, yeah, I mean... <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I'm not sure. It had the hearts above its head. I'm not sure what the deal was. Um... Let's... There we go. So let's get the heart... Like, is it a breeding heart that's getting before then or something? I don't know. Um... But me and Smokey here, we are gonna go... Find some other cats. We need at least one more. Um... That took... 12 fish. <laughs> so I'm glad I went overboard with, the. Uh, Catching fish here. Yikes. Um, I would never would have expected that it took that many. That's way more fish than it takes, like, bones to tame dogs or something. Um, I hear you, Smoke. Um, so we have got to find another little cat. I actually think... Smokey, this is like the little Siamese cat, isn't it? Is, aren't those supposed to be rarer? I don't, I don't know if there's actually any rarity to them. I always seem to see the... People with the, the tabbies and the, the black cats. Um, usually don't see a whole lot of these sightings. Okay, found another one. Um, so yeah, I want to I wanna apologize to you guys a little bit. Uh, we've been updating kind of sporadically the last couple of weeks, and I apologize for that. Um, I know we don't have a ton of people that are following this series, but I mean, for those of you guys who are, I don't have a ton of people who follow my channel in general, but I got to... So I want to treat all of my fans, uh, you know, you know, the same way, you know, whatever series you're a fan of. Um, and I apologize that Minecraft's been updating kind of sporadically lately. Uh, oh, come on back, cat. Smokey, go make friends. Bring her back. Um, you know, after the, my Hexathlog series ended, I kind of just took a little break from just updating in general. Um, and, uh, so that included this series. Uh... No, no, no! Oh, it had to be down in the grass where I couldn't click it. Um, and so I apologize for that. We've had, we've definitely had some episodes that have gone up since that series ended, but um, you know, not as regular as as I would have liked to keep doing. Um, it's actually been, man, I recorded the mob spawner, and so I, I recorded the last three episodes within like a day of each other, and then I haven't touched it. In like a couple of I so I haven't played this game in a couple of weeks, um, at least not in this world. Um, so this it's nice to get back in here and uh, play around with stuff. And I apologize to you guys for. Okay, there we go. So we got a little orange tabby, got a little Siamese action going on. Um, you get up to. Let's get one more just for insurance, in case one of these guys bites it on the way back. Um, I don't want to decimate the natural ocelot population, but you can always find another jungle, I guess. Um, why don't you guys breed here? We'll take a kitten back with us. How about that? That'll be easier. There we go. All right, so let's head back. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm sorry this hasn't updated as frequently as it had been. Uh, try to get a couple episodes up a week. Um, and so we should be... Right now I'm in the middle of... So the Hexathlox over for now. I I was planning on bringing it back this week too. Um, and then I've had some real technical difficulties with that one. So um, I think we're going to hold out on bringing that series back until after I finish my new Pokemon X blind run. Um, because that one's... I'm, I've got that updating every day, which is a lot. Oh, I don't like those sounds. It sounds like a cat getting hurt. Um, I don't, so that's updating every day, um, so I don't know that you guys need more Pokemon videos than that from me, I guess. Um, how do I get back out of here? Let's get to the coast and walk around. Um, because, and those videos seem to be being longer anyway, 
So I'm thinking we're probably okay with just that from the Pokemon side. It's okay. I keep hearing weird, weird meowings, and I don't like it. Um. So. Yeah. Um. So. So yeah. We so pretty much we'll be running Minecraft and uh, that Pokemon X blind run for a little while here. Um. Which I think will be fine. But I want to make sure that I don't neglect these other series when I'm doing that one. So, um, there's the desert. That's what I want to get back to. Um, so yeah, uh, just wanted to apologize for those of you who have been watching the series and enjoying it. Um, it should be back now. We, we, we may see a, a missed update here or there, but for the most part we should be updating. Shouldn't go a week or a week and a half or half a week or whatever without an update like we have been. Um, come on, kitties. Alright, and our horse here has thrown his lead, so that's awesome. Hopefully it's not despawned. Nope. Perfect. Uh, so I'm going to imagine that cats can... Well, they can teleport just like dogs, so we'll imagine that they can keep up with us. Um, and that they'll teleport if not. No, oh, don't teleport into the cactus. Be safe, little kittens. <laughs> uh, so we will get these guys. We'll probably actually... We haven't been back to our actual base in a while. Um, so let's go ahead and head back there. Um, and we will see... Actually, let's... We'll, we'll stop really quick. Where we, we got, We're only 16 minutes into this episode. Um, yeah, we'll, let, let's stop real quick. And let me see if I can't show you guys... Um, oop, nope. Let's see. That's not what I want to do. Let's get him over here. Time up. Okay, and you sit there. You sit there. You. Oh! <laughs> Didn't want to get on the horse. You sit there. Alright, so we'll leave our cats out here for a minute. Um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna. Let's. I'm gonna idle for, let's say, 10 minutes and let's just see what kind of spawns we get. Um, from our mob system, because we did all that lighting up last time, and it really has helped. So let's uh, let's see if we can't get some stuff going here, and we'll come back, and then we'll go back over to the other base. All right, I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, we didn't wait ten minutes. We waited like two, uh, because things actually started going. Once we got in range, things started going here pretty well. Uh, we've got a, a handful of guys, I mean really it's been like two minutes, but the zombies in here are coming out of the mob system, I've got the spawner turned off, um, so those, everything that's here now is coming out of the mob system, um, and they have been coming kind of rapidly, I guess we'll, we'll wait and see if uh, anything comes up while we're waiting here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it gets going pretty good. Let's see, we want to turn on the three. So we've got 18 people in here in like two minutes. That's not so bad, especially when it's just supplementing the, the zombie spawner. Um, so there he goes. But yeah, I was, I was telling you before, so I was punching things, and I kind of came right up into right in here, and they can see you there because it's glass, and uh, when you're in that corner, and that creeper just blew up and took out this whole wall. <laughs> Oh, that was fun to fix. Um, took out all these chests and stuff. Uh, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. But, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. It's working pretty well now. Um, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, so definitely that lighting up helps. You know, it would have taken me, you know, an hour to get this many people before, probably, from just the spawner. So... Doing a lot of that lighting help. I did a bunch with you guys on camera. I did a bunch afterwards off camera. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely helps with your rates. And, and I can't believe that I bring you guys back in and things kind of stop here. It's been flowing so nicely. Um, oh well. Uh, that's that's not the point anyway. Uh, so let's quickly... We don't have a ton of guys in here, so let's just go ahead and kill them. I uh, don't want to waste a potion. Um, and creepers actually... So on zombies and skeletons... On the undead, um, the, the healing potion does damage, um, but on the, uh, just heard a zombie. Oh, he's at my door. 
Hey, zombie. Alright, so I'm going to sleep really quick. Uh, and then we'll head back to the base. Um, but yeah, so on the undead, on skeletons and zombies, splash potion, I always do that. I always spawn like out in the middle of this class. Um, healing potions are damage potions, but on creepers, they're healing potions. So when I, you know, when I do that with creepers in there, then they get fully healed. Um, but you know, everybody else dies. So then I've got to use get flash versions of harming out and, and then hit the creepers again. So, uh, so anyway, uh, that's why I just killed him with the sword there. So let's run back. Let's take our cats. We're gonna actually go around this way, so we don't have to go through the forest because with the horse that's usually annoying. So, uh, yeah. So that's that's the creep tet project. Um, I think that's working pretty well now uh, for my needs. Uh, now we're gonna I'm gonna have to do some mining and get all the resources I need together so I can start um, cranking out enchants on things in preparation for the dragon fight um, and now the wither fight. I think I mentioned before that we're gonna add the wither to, to this um, just because now we've got two final boss sort of deals. Well, I mean, really the end dragon is the final boss. Um, but the Wither is a is a more worthy foe, even, I think. I, I see people have more trouble with Withers than... Uh, uh, at least when they're trying to do it in a fair fight. You know, you can suffocate Withers and stuff and get their stars that way. Um, but I think if you're going for a fair fight, uh, Withers are probably a little more difficult. So, um, I did... The only comment I got on this bridge was that I should do the darker spruce wood. Um, so I'll probably go back through and change that at some point. I, I don't know. It, need, it definitely can't just be oak wood. I do kind of like this birch wood, though. I don't know. So we'll we'll see. Maybe I'll figure out some design that incorporates all three kinds of woods. All, all those three. There's four kinds of woods, but I'm not putting jungle wood in anything. Um, unless it's like a design like this where the pink color looks decent. Um, my dog chilling in there. Man, it's been a long time since I've been here. Yikes. Uh, it's nice to be home. Let's drop our horse off in the stable here. Alright, cats. Who are you? Okay. Well, at least you're not Fluffy. thought maybe Fluffy let, her, let himself out. Let herself out. Oh! Fluffy did let herself out. Oh, no, 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 no. This can't be happening. Oh, no. There she is. Hey, Fluffy. How's it going, girl? You're not allowed to die. You stay there. we got to come up with something better for you. Um, we'll make you your own little house. Maybe maybe I'll kick the dogs out of here, and this will be Fluffy's house. And we'll make the kennel somewhere else. Um, all right, cats. What you got going on? Um, I got a bunch more fish. Let's see if you guys want to breed again. Huh? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Another cat. Excellent. Um, so I've got no idea what to do with these cats. I don't have any place built for them. And they're cats. They don't really need any place built. I mean, they're just cats. Um... Cats are content to wander around the countryside. They're content to sleep on the floor. They're all right. So let's see. We're gonna put you guys in here. I think. Nope. Maybe if I go upstairs, they'll teleport in. Huh? Huh? There we go. Perfect. Uh, I don't want to lead you though. I don't want to feed you. Sit. Sit. Um, so up here will be our breeding ground, I guess, for cats. That'll be fine. There'll be a little backyard breeder action going on. Um, and then I'll leave... Where are your babies? You sit there. Come here, little kitten. You sit there. You guys keep creepers away from the front of my house, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Uh... Yikes, I don't even really know what's going on over here anymore. I spent so much time out in that desert. Um, let's see, we've got pigs going on up here. We need to feed these guys. Are they good? 
was a herd looking for it. Hey pup, what you doing up here? Pig herd's looking all right. That's okay. Let's let's check and see. Uh, we got the dogs doing all right. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Well, cool. Um, so this is putting us at about 25 minutes or so, which is a little shorter than our typical episode, but that's okay. Um, we got our cats, which is mainly the big thing I wanted to do this episode. Do some fishing and get the cats together and hear the familiar cackle of our uh, chicken farm. God almighty. I gotta, this is going to be one of our next projects. Chickens, I have no need for chickens. Um... So there's really no reason to do this other project, but um, just for the sake of my sanity, I've got to figure out something to do with all these chickens uh, and all these eggs. Look at this! Look at this! I got a double chest full, of, two double chests full, or well, no, a double chest and a regular chest full of eggs, a hopper full of eggs, and then let's—I'm sure there's tons of chickens up here. So we got to figure out a better way to manage this. I just saw. Um, just watched a video and Beef just made a little chicken farm that's essentially the same thing. I mean, his is design-wise is completely different, but it's essentially just chickens sending eggs into a hopper um, and collecting them into a chest. And I think he's going to come up with a realize the same issue that I I have here. Um, and so maybe he'll come up with a good solution. But uh, I think I've got to come up with something um, some way. I think I've seen a couple of things where they. Uh, they take, they collect the eggs, and then they pipe them back up into like a dispenser or something um, that shoots it out, and which you know, which will do the same thing as like me throwing them just there. And so some will hatch, and some will, and then they'll just go away. Um, and so it'll kind of automate that. Um, we need, we need something though, because this is just out of hand. Um, whether it's just me needing to come over here and do this more frequently, I don't really want to have to do that though. Um, that's really the last thing I want to do, just be, is commit to doing eggs all the time. Um, so we will we will fix this. We may have to tear down this whole building. Uh, I like this little setup, but it's, you know, it's too efficient, I guess. We're getting way too many eggs. Um, we need a better way to do this. Ooh, but actually, uh, well, we're wasting... Well, that's okay. I'm fine with wasting eggs. We're not really in need of... Uh, of eggs. But let's do something real quick just to end this episode. Because um, this will be funny. I, I showed you guys a couple episodes ago. Um, I think uh, maybe two episodes ago. I can't remember. Hey, Lupus. I was wondering why you weren't over at the spawner. Uh, must have left you here. Um, I've got a couple of these splash potions of harming. Let's take two. I don't think we'll need more than one. But, uh, so this is our brewing station. I showed you guys this last time. Uh, I got a little nether wart farm and, and a little setup here. Pretty sure I, sp I showed you guys all that stuff in an episode before. Uh, but we got some of these splash potions of harming, and I brewed these up specifically for these chickens um, because there's just so many of them, and they were like, I was like using up a whole sword to, to kill one batch of them. So this is going to do some damage to me probably, but that's okay. Throw that in there. Ouch. And it kills pretty much everything. That's good. A couple of them left is fine. Um, and we can, we'll rebuild our herd, or our little flock, I guess it's a flock, um, with all the eggs that are in this chest. So we'll, we'll just need to, you know, be more on the ball once they get mature and there's too many of them, we'll, we'll clean that up. But yeah, we got a couple of levels from that. Um, not that we really need levels anymore, because we've got Creep Tut hanging out over there, uh, waiting to give us levels, but, yeah, we still got a ton of eggs in our inventory. Anyway, um, yeah, nothing like a little bit of mass murder to end an episode with. Um, so... I'm gonna put these eggs back. Um, oh, oh, mine. Mine? Mine? I gotta go into the hopper, don't I? Give me that. Give me this. Oh, no. Alright, well. Um, anyway. Thank you, guys. I got a ton of chicken. Sweet. Um, yeah, I gotta do that more often to fill up these chests to make sure we're overflowing with those kind of materials, and then I can just shut this farm down altogether. <laughs> so we'll never use more eggs or chicken or whatever that we've got now. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna get a bunch of cats 
bred up between now and maybe next episode. I'm not really sure what we're doing next episode. Uh, but we'll figure that out. Uh, so I'll get these guys bred up and we'll make a huge ring of cats and then we'll be creeper proof here. Get enough to put around the entire island and the creepers will be freaking out. Uh, so that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, and we're back. So I will see you guys. Hey, why aren't you guys sitting? I told you to sit. Can't train cats to do anything. Huh. Why aren't they sitting? Oh my gosh. All my dogs are up. What's happening? Oh no. This happens. Oh man. Uh, anytime I get hurt within perimeter of this doghouse, all the dogs get up and run out. No dogs. Sit. Sit. Bad dogs. Bad dogs. No, no, no. No. Sit, sit, sit. 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 Oh, and they're not going to sit. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, I've been Torn with the Gray, and you guys have been great. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.